Hello everyone. So I know I took a little bit of a break and I'm really sorry, but here we are back at it and I have something to show you. Yesterday, um, oh, and excuse that I look like I'm about to take a shower. Do not fret. Anyways, um, I'm about to show you something that happened yesterday and it was very scary, very sad because Harper was in the car with me. I'll show you what happened in just a second, but just know she is just fine. Okay, yucky. Close your mouth. She's just fine. She's standing on a rug that's flipped upside down. So let me go ahead and show you the sad, sad thing that happened yesterday. And hopefully everything will be fine and it'll get fixed and everything like that. So let me go ahead and show you. It's windy, so you may not be able to hear me, but yeah. Somebody ran right into the back of me at Walmart. I mean, not at Walmart. At the exit, we had to pull into Walmart once the cops got there. So we're about to go to Dick's Sporting Goods, just letting y'all know. And to Sam's. So. Boom. I would put my hand up, but it's kind of hard. All right, everyone, now we're just outside at my mom's house, just hanging out. Say hi. Ah. What? Ah. No, I don't see a ball. I thought there may be one out here, but there's not. Are you having a good day? Where are you going? You can leave a mama? All right, everyone, so as I showed you earlier, my car did get hit yesterday. Me and Harper are fine, um, thank goodness. I was at a red light, um, completely stopped. They came off the highway, ran into me. Um, she's actually on her cell phone. Um, a, a couple teenagers, I think they're like 16 or something like that, saw it happen, pulled over, told the cops that she was on her phone and everything like that. <laughs> Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> Mommy's a scaredy cat, huh? Are you pulling daddy's ears like a monkey? <laughs> Did you fix the post? This post was down. I don't know if you can see the one's kind of sticking out a little bit. Look how pretty the sky looks. I love the sunsets. How cute. <laughs> She's looking over the little fence. Are you looking over the fence? So anyways, we were just kind of hanging out over at my mom's house today. We went to Sam's. Um, we went to a couple other stores. I actually got Harper her very first Christmas present. I'm super excited about it. Um, they were having a sale at shoe carnivals, like buy one, get one half off. So my sister bought a pair of shoes and I got Harper a pair of um, black Converse for $15. So it's a really good price for them because they were originally like 30 which I thought was ridiculous for a pair of baby shoes, but I got them for 15. Say hi. Hello. Ooh, you're creepy. <laughs> I'm keeping on there. Yeah. <laughs> you are so weird. Excuse my weirdo. <laughs> Quit! Oh my gosh. I don't think you're supposed to play with that. Don't even have any shoes on. Okay, so anyways, um, for those of you who have kind of been watching, my sister did have her surgery, her arm surgery, or excuse me, her elbow surgery. She had a tear in her elbow. You know what? Clearly I can't talk. She had a tear in her shoulder. Anyways, so they had to, um, do the surgery she's going to be out for about between four to six months at softball so that really sucks but we're just gonna have to wait and see how all of that goes but i'm gonna go ahead and go inside and hang out with my family for just a little bit and then we're gonna head home kelsey may be staying the night i'm not for sure but we'll see hopefully because it's a lot of fun when she's over so let's go inside okay guys so excuse the fact that my face is bright red for some reason i don't know why it is Harper fell asleep on my way on the way home from my mom's house and um, 
I'm actually gonna go see my sister tomorrow. She's gonna be home alone by herself all day for the first time. So we're gonna get up um, in the morning and go over there and hang out with her all day tomorrow while Justin is at school and um, my mom's at work and Brad's at work. So um, we're just gonna kind of hang out with her so that way she's not lonely and if she needs help doing anything. Cause she, her arm, I didn't like record her today because before I like, because while we were there, she was like pretty tired and kind of sore and stuff. So I didn't want to be like, hey, let me film you. But tomorrow, I'm sure that I'll film her a little bit. So um, my voice kind of sounds raspy and like a boy right now. So please excuse that also. Thank you very much. A brief summary of what happened is I was, which I think I already said some of it earlier. Um, but I was outside, so I don't know if you could actually hear me. So I'm just going to say it again just to see, just to make sure. But... Anyways, but I was following my mom back to her house, um, so she was in front of me, we were at a red light, and the red light is like right off the highway, so whenever you exit the highway, you like go to a red light pretty much is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm sitting at the red light, my mom's in front of me, the light just turned green. Um, I always wear my seatbelt, so yes, I had my seatbelt on. Harper was in the car with me. Um, her car seat is in the middle, and I'm very, very particular about how I buckle her, so she's buckled 100% safe. Um, and so right whenever the light turns green, my mom starts going, and I right before I took my foot off the brake, um, I just got hit. And... Um, I'm like oh my gosh and then within like a couple seconds I get hit again um, and my car goes up even more so I just want to go ahead and say thank God that the light turned green and that my mom like had already scooted up a little bit because if not like I would have ran right into her um, and my little sister Kelsey was in the car and she had just had surgery on her shoulder because she had a tear in her shoulder so that would have been horrible because oh my gosh she's all bandaged up she has like you know stitches and everything like that in her arm still she just had surgery like a few days ago get hit I jump out immediately go to my back seat to check on Harper like she's fine but I'm bawling my eyes out like my biggest fear is car wrecks like my biggest fear and I, I whenever it was happening I was just like I don't know like it just happened so fast but like at the same time I was just absolutely terrified that like something was wrong with her you know like my airbags didn't deploy um so i ran out i ran straight to her and um i got her out obviously i was like holding her and blowing my eyes out and then she kind of started getting worried because like i was freaking out so my mom saw the wreck and she jumped out of her car ran back there to me to like help me calm down and to like make sure we were both okay and everything like that um the girl that hit me um like jumped on her cell phone and called somebody i guess she called her husband which we thought she was talking to the cops so i was like okay she hit me she called the cops you know whatever we're like did you call the cops she's like oh do i need to i have no idea who she was talking to on her phone but so i was super frustrated and i was like we'll just call him ourselves well a guy saw her hit me and um pulled over like came, turned around came back pulled over and stayed there till the cop got there and um actually told him his side of what happened which is the fact that she was on her cell phone not paying attention and so when she was um coming i guess when she was coming towards me she was looking down at her phone she hit me and she didn't have enough time to like realize like what had happened before she um could like take her foot off the accelerator and put onto the brake so she just left it on the accelerator so whenever i when she hit me and i went forward she just like kept going and she hit me again and then by then you know thankfully she finally hit the brake after the second time of hitting me because she's on her dang phone so you know i'm sure that she was scared and i'm sure that i was not the nicest to her but you know my baby was in the car i was absolutely terrified um you know my car is really messed up and i was you know not happy about it and all she kept saying was my car my car and i'm like okay first of all this is your fault look at my car and my baby was in my car you know what i mean like you don't even ask if the baby's okay or if i'm okay you just worry about your car like are you kidding me so anyways i was really ticked about that um and finally i was just like oh my gosh Haley just calm down so I stopped crying and everything like that and we're both um 
okay like i'm really sore like the back of my neck is hurting my lower back is hurting my arms are sore from holding onto the steering wheel and stuff like that so i may be actually going to the doctor to um get myself looked at to make sure that i am okay because you know I don't want to have any problems like later on I may have got like whiplash or something because I was at like literally a dead stop when she hit me um and my mom said when she looked in the rearview mirror like after she heard like the car hit me first like all she could see was my hair because like my hair was down and whenever I like was going forward and um, my hair was just like flying in my face you know um so I don't know it was really really scary for me um i know that my car is not like oh my gosh that's horrible i mean it is it's bad um it's obviously worse in person than what i can really like get on the camera but um you know my car could have been totaled but as long as my baby's okay like that's all that i'm really worried about at the moment um you know she's fine and i could just not explain like how scared I was because I was at a dead stop and ha feeling how hard I was hit like I just knew that like something happened to her you know what I mean so whenever I got back there and like she was fine like my heart just like I was just bawling because I was just so happy that she was okay but at the same time like I was so scared and I don't know it was just it was really really scary so I know that turned into kind of a long um thing but I'm just it is so 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 important to not have any distractions while you're driving like I mean I can't say I'm perfect of course I've been on my phone while I've been why I've drove before you know like you always have those temptations but like here lately because I've heard of so many wrecks that have happened because people are on their phone and like you know it's just it's crazy and then whenever it happens to you like it really just reminds you like do not look at your phone like if somebody texts you like it that text is still going to be on there whenever you get to wherever you're going like it's not that important you know what i mean and if you feel like it is that important then pull over get off the highway do whatever you need to do but just don't pay attention to your phone it's not worth it if she would have hit me harder like and my baby got hurt like her whole entire life would have been ruined because she hurt my child you know what i mean like it's that one text or whatever she was doing she may have been on facebook she may have been about to call somebody i don't know what she was doing but the fact that she was on her phone when she did it and she hit me twice because she was on her phone and not paying attention like i know this is like me ranting now or giving advice or whatever you want to call it but it's so important to stay off your phone do not have any distractions pay attention to the road while you're driving 100 percent it's not worth it a text is not worth losing your life or um you know killing somebody else um you know like it could have been way way worse than what it was she could have hit me while we were on the highway going 65 70 miles an hour um that obviously would have been a way worse wreck and it could have been really 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 bad so the fact you know that pat was i hope that she learns her lesson and she stays off of her phone and it was a big reminder for me to you know pay attention to the road and stay off your phone and nothing is worth you know potentially hurting you or your child or you know whoever it's just not worth it so anyways um it is 1 at night i'm really really tired i highly doubt i'm gonna be able to go to sleep though because i never can um but i am gonna go ahead and go lay down so we will see um i do want to say hi to the new subscribers that we've gotten on this channel we have probably about like five new ones i mean um you know but i do want everybody to feel welcome because it is such a close tight-knit family right now and i love it so much that people are like starting to comment and kind of starting to open up a little bit to us i really 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 like it um this channel is nick and Haley, and my husband's usually not on the channel that much because he works quite a bit um because i am a stay-at-home mom all right everyone we just got to my mom's house you can go see aunt kelsey mm -hmm. all right let's go go to the front door you want to knock on it go like this Oh, there she is, the wounded victim. 
victim. Just showing your arm. <laughs> she said that she doesn't look very good today. Say hi, Harper. No, she just wants to go see Aunt Kelsey. <laughs> So we're about to head to my doctor's appointment for my arm. It's just like a follow-up to see how it's doing and stuff. So. Hickory dickory doc. So Harper's just sitting in her little stroller waiting for the doctor to come in to see Aunt Kelsey. Savage. Savage? Savage. Okay. Um, I was once again asked if I was her mom, so that would have been 10. I would have been 10 if uh, I was her mom, but you know, I ain't judging. Say what's up. She's just hanging out right now. We're waiting for the doctor to come in. How are you feeling? Mm, it's hurting. Because my mom's it's trying to wean her off of her medicine. It's hot in here. Very. I'm not showing you what I look like at the moment because, you know, girl had to get up early, which means girl don't look good. This was her plan. She told me last night, this was her plan. Okay. I'm gonna get up, take a shower. Well, at least the way she says it. <laughs> when she says it, shower. And then I'm gonna brush my hair. I did brush my teeth. Uh -oh. I'm gonna straighten my hair. Then we're gonna go. Okay. She gets here. She gets to my house. Hat on. Hair and ponytail, grease pit. Uh, whatever. <laughs> no makeup. <laughs> no makeup on. <clears throat> you know, same old how she always is. And then yeah, she gripes about what I wear. I mean, like, look at how nice I am. Right? Look at how it's doing nice OOTD. Okay, like, back up. So she has on a shirt, shorts, basketball sh uh, socks, and shoes, and it's that thing shoes. around her head, and a ponytail. It's not a headband. This is her every single day attire. And yes, she is a girl, in case you're wondering. Look at how big my shoes are right now. Yeah, we just got her these shoes. She just got herself these shoes. And Harper just threw my phone off. But anyways, yes, I was planning on doing all that stuff, but... This little one woke up at 5 o'clock this morning, didn't you? That gives you even better reason to do that. No, because I was trying to get her back to sleep. Okay, so here was my, here was my day. Here was my day so far. <clears throat> so, I was peacefully sleeping. Okay, peacefully sleeping. I was sleeping in the chair. I was just sleeping, okay? Oh boy. All of a sudden, no, I feel this it. across my forehead. And then it keeps on going. I go like that, and then it goes that again. I wake up and my dad's like, how are you feeling? <laughs> not great since he woke me up at freaking five, not, um, it was like six something in the morning. How are you feeling? Oh, well, I just literally opened my eyes, so yeah, I don't really know how I'm feeling yet. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Okay, so I'm going for Cleveland in the world, the baseball world series. You lose 6-0. Okay, well, in their defense, it's only the first game. They're still... Six more. But first game you come out, lose 6 0. I don't think they're setting a very good tone right here. I mean, <laughs> I'm working on my sports announcer. Cubs have not come out and set a good tone for this series. Um, you know, everyone's going for the Cubbies since they have not won in a long time. And they're like, I really want to see the Cubs win for once. So that was all for them. I'm going for Cleveland because I've read about a lot of people that went to, or, or that, um, that played for Cleveland. <laughs> excuse <laughs> you. That played for Cleveland. And, you know, so I'm just going to go for them. But that's not a good tone for the Cubs if they're going to come out and yeah. lose 6 0, their first game. You yeah, so. No. So is that your conclusion to your opposition or whatever you say? That's not professional, Haley. <laughs> well, how do you say it then? I made my conclusion to my to my revolution. <laughs> That's professional. <laughs> Very. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for that tip, Hayden. Harper. 
Hey, look. Look. All right, everyone, we are at Haunt the Zoo. It's kind of dark, but Harper's not really um, having it. She's just looking at all of the cool um, costumes, but she but our little cookie monster is ready to haunt the zoo. She's so excited. We had to break out her um, Christmas shoes already, but we're going to put them back under the tree after we um, get back home. We're going to wrap them and stuff like that. At least she's still at the age where she won't know. So She's just looking at all of the cool little... All of the cool little costumes. Dino Man. Oh, Harper. <laughs> this thing over here is called the Science Museum. It kind of looks like a moon. It's pretty cool. My dad and Harper, we already took off our costume. It's over here. I know it's kind of dark in the video, but it's we there. took it off. Say hi. Hi, Harps. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> hi, baby. Say hi. She's just looking at everybody. 